Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edward. He lived in a shed with five other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver will choose, choose, choose you, you again, again, they said. He, he wants big, big strong, strong engines, engines like, like, us. like us. Edward had not been let out for a long time. He began to feel sad. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. The driver looked at Edward. Why are you sad? he asked. Would you like to come out today? Yes, please, said Edward. So the fireman lit the fire and made a nice lot of steam. Then the driver pulled the lever and Edward puffed away. He whistled. Look at me now. The others were very cross at being left behind. Away went Edward to get some coaches. Be careful, Edward, said the coaches. Don't bump and bang us like the other engines do. So Edward came up to the coaches very, very gently. And the shunter fastened the coupling. Thank you, Edward, said the coaches. That was kind. We are glad you are taking us today. Then they went off to the station where the people were waiting. whistled Edward. Get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly, and Edward waited happily for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. He waited and waited. There was no whistle, no green flag. Where is that guard? Edward was getting anxious. The driver and fireman asked the station master, Have you seen the guard? No, he said. They asked the porter. Have you seen the guard? Yes, last night, said the porter. Edward began to get cross. Are we ever going to start? He said. Just then, a little boy shouted, Here he comes! And there the guard was, running down the hill with flags in one hand and a sandwich in the other. He ran onto the platform, and blew his whistle, and jumped into his van. Edward puffed off. He did have a happy day. All the children ran to wave as he went past and met old friends at all the stations. He worked so hard that the driver promised to take him out again next day. I'm going out again tomorrow, he told the other engines that night in the shed. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once.